Hello, welcome. In this short video, I will illustrate the derivation of the variance of a normal distribution. That is, we will derive the following relation. Consider a random variable x that has normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma square. Our goal is to prove that integral x minus mu whole square multiplied by the normal distribution dx is actually equal to sigma square. By using the variable transformation x minus mu equal to t, we have dx equals dt and the limits of t are same as limits of x. Therefore, the integral becomes minus infinity to plus infinity t square 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square exponential of minus t square by 2 sigma square dt. If you remember, this is the definition of a normal distribution with mean 0. Let us call this equation. Now if you notice, the function inside the integral is a even function. Hence, the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity is same as twice the integral from 0 to infinity. That is, integral 0 to infinity, t square, we can take the uh, constant, the square root of 2 pi sigma square outside. Function inside the integral is t square times exponential minus t square by 2 sigma square dt. This is expression 2. Now from mathematics handbook mentioned in the references of this video, we have the following relation. Integral 0 to infinity x power n multiplied by e power minus ax square dx equals 2k minus 1 factorial factorial divided by 2 power k plus 1 into a power k again multiplied by square root of pi by a. Here n is actually equal to 2k and k is a integer and a is a positive real number. So if you compare this standard result equation 3 with integral expression 2, you can see that n is actually equal to 2 and k is equal to 1, a equals 1 by 2 sigma square. So now by using these values, uh, we can actually evaluate the integral in, in 2 as follows. It basically equals 2 divided by square root of 2 pi sigma square. Since the value on the right hand side of equation 3 is 2k minus 1 and k is equal to 1, the numerator is 1 factorial. That is 1 factorial divided by 2 power k plus 1. That is 2 power 2 multiplied by, if you remember this, a power k. That means here a is 1 by 2 sigma square and k is 1. And multiplied by square root of pi by a and a is 1 by 2 sigma square. So if you rewrite this expression, it is basically 2 times another 2 and we have sigma square. And then we have 1 by 4 square root of 2 pi sigma square by another square root of 2 pi sigma square. This one basically simplifies to sigma square. Hence, the, hence the uh, original proposition that is the integral of on this left hand side is actually equal to the variance sigma square. Thanks for watching.